again, Moffitt with some space, so he kept it. Rolls it to Davis. Davis looking at Ching, but he was well marked. Robinson was with him, taken away, and then given right back, and Moffitt takes a shot, and it's one up in Houston. Adam Moffitt, his second goal of the year. And an absolute blast for Moffitt, and it starts here. McBean wins it, watch to his feet, tries to slip it through for Jimenez. Moffitt steps right in and wins it. And that's a thing of beauty. It's from the 30-yard line. Well taken, which means it's from 40 yards out. That's unbelievable. Takes a slight deflection on the way in, but I think it was earmarked for the corner anyway. Upper 90. It, it, I mean, it kind of looked like Janino's goal in, in Champions League, the way it was ducking and finding that upper corner. Well struck by Moffitt, as you mentioned, his second of the year. He my dad would let me take that Toyota truck out for a drive, you know? I think I was cooking at the Rusty Pelican. <laughs> I was a prep cook. This guy's playing pro soccer. Chipped in, and Ricketts is just frozen. He didn't even move. I don't know that he saw it. And it's 2-0 Houston. Bobby Boswell. I don't know that Ricketts ever saw it. He had his feet in cement. And Boswell just chipped it to the far post and tucks it in. Well, it's not a clean clearance from LA right here as Boswell brings it. Yeah, he doesn't see it because Ching is standing right there. It could be some get argument from the Galaxy here in that, uh, that passive offside rule. Boswell's second touch to put it into the far corner right there. Well, that was just too easy. Too easy and just lackadaisical defending for me for LA, fifth goal of the season for Boswell. And so now Boswell joins. Cameron, Bruin, Ching, all with five goals. You know, Houston has great balance, Mark, yes. offensively. Goals in his last four matches. And Brian Ching's coming out. Carlo Costley is coming in for Houston. And Brian Ching, the captain, of course, gets a hearty round of applause. And most of the folks here at Robertson Stadium rise to their feet. And well-deserved. All-time leading scorer for the franchise. Handshake from Dominic Kinnear as head coach. So Costley comes on, Barrett comes on. With that new stadium open, because look, I mean, look at this place. There's no empty seats tonight. And this game, certainly it has meaning for both teams, but it's not a, it's not a must win for Houston, but it's an important game. Right. But can you imagine opening night 2012, the brand new downtown stadium? The place is gonna be rocking as they come to their feet again on this rush. Camargo left side. Looks to cut it back against a couple of defenders. Gets knocked away. Davis looking for another assist, and he's got it. Costly. 3 nothing. That was a beautiful ball by Davis. And it was right in front of our broadcast position right here, Jim. You could just see it all unfolding. I was thinking, perfect. The ball comes back out for Davis onto his left foot. And he just completely finds an unmarked Carlo Costley on the back post, who does the rest, heading it back to where Donovan Ricketts had just come from. So we spend about three and a half minutes throwing rose petals at the feet of Brad Davis. And as soon as we take a breath, he serves the ball right to the forehead of Carla Costley, back post, and he beats Ricketts 3-0. So I think uh, I just probably got about 20 or 30 more people on the same page that Brad Davis <laughs> is probably your MLS MVP. Yeah.